Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. I'm sponsored creator by AFK Arena and today we are taking a look at the whale in the new mechanics in the game. Let's see what it's all about. So in the Rancorn, right next to your guild building, you will have this huge whale flying around and if you click on it, you'll get to the whale in area. Over here you can create your hotel, unlock rooms, uh, it will be cleaned by Rosalind, poor lady, she's doing so much for us. And uh, you can move in your heroes over here. Although when you're moving in the hero, you can move in only your ascended hero. So this is not that useful for the guys who are just starting out. But for the late game players, it will be a good buff for everything. Let's move in our Belinda here and see how it will go. Once the hero has moved in, they will be bound to this room. Let's go. When you moved in your guys, you can use workshop to buy furniture. This is like summoning more or less. So after you construct the furniture, it's just like summoning. You can get different rarities of those, this is the elite one and you can get them up to mythic rarity. Furniture can have a faction bonus, so it's really important to use the proper furniture for the proper heroes in the proper rooms. In order to unlock more rooms, you can either wait for 6 hours, but some of those can be done instantly. So the left rooms, at least the first 3, I don't have more heroes at this account, can be unlocked straight away using your guys. So unlocking additional spot for the hero doesn't take any time, but clicking on the right will make the room bigger, so it will take 6 hours per room, and when you increase the size of the room, you can fit more of the furniture in it. There is also a cool elevator over here, that's pretty cool. Now, you want to modify the hero's room by placing furniture in it, as I said, faction bonuses apply, and if we place this bed for the building, it will give us 500 additional attacks, so it's pretty cool to have it here. You can also use auto place to place all the best items in the room and uh, yeah, let's save it. Moreover, you have the tasks menu over here that will give you additional bonuses uh, like the quest rewards. I think all of those are progression based so you don't need to hurry with that, just take your time and advance as you want. Moreover, you can check all your furniture that you have over here, well, if you have some extras and uh, you can get the illustrations when you finish the sets of the items. So actually you can preview how everything looks over here so you will know well what to place over there. As you can see the elite is the lowest rarity here then we got legendary and then we have the mythic one. The mythic one is the best one so far so it's really recommended to go for this one if you can but it will take time. A legendary and the mythic level furniture have their own sets for each faction so you can see here that we have like 6 of those, so it's 4 for the normal factions and 2 for Celestial and Hypogean heroes. Also you can click manage in the bottom right corner and that way you can actually rearrange everything over here as you want and you can unlock the new wing of your hotel uh, in order to change the location of, uh, of your housing. So let's move Nemora over there and see how it will look. We can change the buildings around as well, so there are a lot of customization options for your hotel. So when you unlock additional location, you will see different buttons at the bottom and you can switch between those tabs between different hotels as you want. You can zoom in and zoom out and you can actually keep track of the hero that you want, so you can follow him around. This is more cosmetical, but it's it's a fun thing to do, they interact with each other and it's really nice. At the top of the screen you can see amount of different furnitures in your inn, so you can kinda get a quick look of what you have here. Now on the right you can go to your guildies and to your friends in order to get the furniture bonuses. Let's try to visit one of the guildies and see what will happen. So when you go to the friends tab you can go to one of your friends and collect the prizes over there, that will kinda help you. There you go, when you can collect the item you will see the hero right here with a chest next to him. If you click on that chest, you can get a, a gift from your friend and that will be some, some something cool or something not really nice. So that's a little bonus that you have daily. Uh, just go and check your friends and make sure that you find those heroes with the chest. Click on them and you can get quite a good rewards over here. You can collect three of those per day, so it's not that many, but overall it's still something, so it will help you to progress better. In order to get the new furniture, you want to click on the workshop right here, and uh, you can purchase it using those, how those called, poor points. They are being rewarded to you from the AFK rewards, so you will have to collect them over time. And uh, don't forget to fill the wish list with the hero that you want to get the furniture for. So we put three of our current heroes here, you can put extras 
who you want to ascend in the near future, like Lucius over here. And you can get furniture for them as well. Uh, and basically, when buying furniture in the workshop, you have a higher chance of obtaining mythic furniture required by the hero specified in your wish list. And of course, it won't increase your chances of getting the mythic gear. It will just make sure that the mythic gear that you pulled will be compatible, <laughs> compatible with the heroes from your wish list. You can click on the exclamation mark over here and see all of those furniture pack chances. So, mythic furniture is a little bit lower than pulling an elite hero in the tavern so the chances are pretty good that you'll get some of those things pretty fast and also as you craft the furniture up here you will fill up the bar uh, and when you fill it fully you will receive a custom furniture scroll when your progress is complete you can use those scrolls in order to choose any piece of legendary faction class furniture and at 90 come on and at 90 pieces of furniture crafted you will get a mythic furniture wish scroll so as far as I understand from this description, I haven't got there yet, as you can see, you will get some class furnitures. So I guess it will take a while to make the perfect furniture for your characters, just like getting the perfect gear for your characters with affection bonuses. It takes a while. Straight away, when you just start, you can get several of those quests done pretty easily. So we got some of those points right here. And now we can actually craft some of the furniture. Uh, we can craft almost 10 all right let's go with one after another so there we go that is that is legendary right yeah legendary another one that is elite that's not that interesting let's go let's go let's go oh we can skip it all that fast that's nice we'll take a look at the actual furniture a bit later when we'll pull all of that i wanted to do a 10 pull but as a free-to-play, I can't afford that right now. So what's interesting about the furniture that at the legendary level, it's starting to get two different uh, settings. One is for the faction, so you can get one for each faction. And second for the class, so tanks and so on will get their own bonuses. So as we can see in the Belinda's room, who is Lightbearer Mage, we can place Lightbearer items that will give your Lightbearer bonus or we can place this thing that is Hyper Gian bonus, but it will give Mage a boost. Actually, the game thinks that crit amplification is better than the Light Bearer bonus. And another interesting thing, you can actually customize the look of your furniture. So you can replace the look of that bed to more normal one if you want to, but I'll leave it like that. It, it seems more fun. So yeah, you can change the look of your room how you want it. And it won't affect your overall, uh, you know, qualities of performance. So if you want to be styled after one theme, no worries about that. Get the best items and change the looks. Let's try to modify other rooms as well with the best items. Oh my god, what's that? That's a relic. Alright, let's put it here. And here is the bed. Saving it. So there we go. Those things are giving quite a good bonuses to our guys. Oh yeah, no more I can't get anything. Rip. You can also change the look of those things to look more normal, more beautiful, but it's up to you. You can make a really creepy rooms as well. All right, I've made a few more pools because I could, and now we have way more stuff. Let's see who can benefit from that. Modify this room. Auto, please. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff for Nemora's room, actually two things, and uh, she will get some benefits from that stuff as well so yeah guys if you want a quick start on the housing on the uh, in you can go manage create a new uh, wing for some diamonds you'll have to do it sooner or later anyway because each of those is limited to 15 floors to 15 heroes so you won't be able to build it like infinitely large then go to your friends get those friendship bonuses then go to your tasks, claim those bonuses, craft something, then you can get more quests done and uh, that way you will get some basic furniture for your heroes. Life hack. So yeah guys, I really, really like how it looks, it's really fun, I like how heroes are kinda interacting with each other and I can't wait to build it on my main account where I have so many of the ascended heroes. Uh, probably I will need advanced guide on the furniture because right now we covered only the bare basics for these mechanics But at least you know how it works now, right? Let me know in the comments if you know something that I haven't talked about here So we can share with each other the knowledge while you're going there Please leave a like subscribe to this channel and make sure to hit that bell button Unless you don't want to see any of my videos and you might want to check the playlists that are down there in the description Or in the pinned command about the free to pay versus pay to win series for AFK Arena or 
AFK Arena videos for more guides and stuff on AFK Arena. Also, there are links for the Discord that you really want to join. We are really building a fantastic community over there. I want you to be part of it. Uh, you might want to join my Twitch as well. I'm playing a lot of PC games. They are really sophisticated, mostly strategies and RPGs, no battle royale whatsoever. Um, yeah, and I'm playing on the hard difficulty. So if you like to see people struggling, I'm your guy. And of course, you might follow me on all those social media. They are not really active right now, but maybe one day they will be. And I would be grateful if you would. That's about it for now. Thank you for watching. Soviet out. До свидания.